There are not many things more rewarding than overcoming crippling brain fog to reclaim your mind and your natural cognitive abilities. Quitting PMO means that you can access states of crystal clear thinking. Your mind feels fresh, your soul feels cleansed, your perception feels sharper, and your consciousness feels greater. You feel as though you have just been mentally, physically, and spiritually detoxed. Everything is seen to be as it is, and your mind is no longer playing tricks on you. This is one of the best benefits that this work has to offer and is one of my personal favorites. With this clarity, you no longer delude yourself through overthinking and overanalyzing. Instead, your experience is direct and present. Your mind has been reset and rewired, having healed from such unnaturally large dopamine rushes. Stillness, detachment, and objectivity are your newfound tools which you can now use to navigate the world. You begin to forget what it was like having a foggy mind and a low quality consciousness, but you're happy to forget because you're simply too busy enjoying life in the present moment with a clear, healthy, and fully functioning mind. Having made this huge decision to sacrifice pornography, emotional balance and clear seeing are what form the bedrock of your experience. I can think of so many times in the past when I would be so easily hurt or offended because of the fragility of my mind due to this addiction. But when you break free, you develop a greater capacity to regulate your emotions, to become aware of your emotions and to understand your emotions clearly and objectively. The purity that you gain from doing this work will boost your spiritual connection, it will boost your relationships, and it will boost the love that you have for yourself. It will show you why this work that you're doing is worth it, and that even if you fall off the wagon, you will do the work to get back on your feet because you have learned that your mind and consciousness are the most important things you have, and that keeping them pure and healthy quite literally determine the quality of your life. When you have this realization, you will begin to treat your mind with the utmost respect, knowing that your entire sense of reality is so easily affected by your lifestyle decisions. But if that's not enough for you, if you want to push this even further, what you can do to enhance your consciousness even more is to throw in yoga or meditation into the mix. Not only will this increase your baseline level of happiness, but it will offer you radically deep states of peace and stillness, which would otherwise be inaccessible to you. Almost no one in our culture will ever experience these spiritual states of mind because we in the West are lazy and materialistic. Almost no one looks inside of themselves for truth, for wisdom, and for happiness. If you keep treading this path, you may have a personal or spiritual awakening in which you realize how deeply asleep you and everyone is in the world is. Awakening is the ultimate goal, but for now, make it your chief priority to kick the habit of PMO, or at the very least, begin to cut back on your usage. Now, earlier we talked of these incredible states of mind, but realistically, your sexual cravings for pornography will put these states out of your reach. You will probably choose the rush of dopamine instead. Why? Because the rush is so much easier, so much quicker. It's instantaneous orgasmic pleasure. Who wouldn't want that? But what happens when you choose that option is you suffer mentally, physically, and spiritually. And in the long term, this pain it's not worth it. And it turns out, PMO, it turns out to be an unsustainable option. If you are still in the phase of your life where you use PMO regularly, I'm here to tell you that is okay and that you are allowed to be in this phase of your life. You are allowed to choose the easier option for as long as you need. I did it for years. What I'm really saying is that now I've broken through to the other side and here life is so much better. And I would want nothing more for you than to break through as well. All you need to do is to be on the path. You need to be committed in the long term to personal and spiritual liberation. Now, this goal may be bigger than you at this moment. It may even seem intimidating, but what you can do is each and every day begin to work toward your goal 
gradually improving your mind, your life, and your consciousness. So to sum up, it does not matter where you are on the path, whether you are stuck relapsing every day or are three months clean, success is completely relative. Ultimately, this is your life. This is your journey. And if you can maintain a big picture perspective, equally as good during the lows, just as you can with the highs, then you will succeed. Perspective is your friend. And if you can really maintain it, you will never lose sight of your higher goal. If you enjoyed this video and you would like more, then please do subscribe.